Ladies and gentlemen, before this video starts, uh, I didn't, at the time of recording this, I didn't realize this would be posted on Christmas, so I'd like to give y'all a merry fucking Christmas from your boy. If for some reason you're watching this instead of hanging out with your family on Christmas, what are you doing, bro? Go fucking, go hug somebody, go hug your mom, tell her you love her. Anyway, I hope y'all have a merry Christmas, and uh, have a good one. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Satisfactory. Today we're going to be doing things a little different. Um, and you might be asking what that is. You might not be asking that, but still, you're asking it. I know you're asking it. Your mind's asking. With the clap of my hands, just like that. Anyway, logistics aside, that was a horrible transition. But, you might be wondering, Shmup, this doesn't look like the satisfactory world. Well, you'll be right, little Jimmy, but rest assured your head. We are starting a new series. Now, this isn't going to replace the old series of the satisfactory with all the twists and turns and all the crazy stuff. But... I do have an inkling to play Satisfactory kind of how it's meant to be played, um, with it being all nice and neat looking, but I'm still going to throw in, you know, some stuff in here and here and there to spice things up, do it in my kind of own way, so it's not like every other series you've watched, but uh, I hope y'all stick tuned and uh, you like the series. Anyway, enjoy. So, so far what I'm getting is that these Christmas presents, the only thing they do is when you stick them in the research table, they unlock, like, decorations, I guess. Um, so, I'm still not too keen on going out and hunting for Christmas presents. Uh, I don't think I'll be needing them at all that much, so I'm just going to ignore them for now. First things first, let's see if we can find a pure iron node, preferably. Oh, this is not a good sign. 400 meters, looks like we're heading this way, folks. So, I did find a green slug. I don't think it was the one I was hearing, but I'll take one uh, regardless. Let's just get past these poison boys, they're going to fuck me up. Grab it and dip. Come on, come on. Dip. Oh shit, not even close, no damage. Anyway, where was I heading? This way, right? The iron node should be close by now. Hello, Mr. Birdman. You live here. Oh, you cute. Let me just, uh... Can I, can I sample you? Do, you? do you mind if I just, you know, just... Uh, are these all iron nodes? Because that would be uh, pretty good. So we got a pure one there. Perfect, another pure, back to back. Can we get another one, pure? What the fuck? Ah! I remember you from the first episode of the last series. You can't hide from me! I think they're all dead. Uh, but like I said, these three are pure. Um, I would... I would have liked this one to be a copper and limestone. But I am okay with four pure iron nodes right off the bat. Hopefully I can capitalize off of them. I'm Mike Tyson in this bitch, baby. You can't touch me. Uh, if I remember correctly from the first time I played this game, there's probably a rare resource node up here. Um, it looks like limestone, but I doubt it's limestone. I'm gonna check real quick. Oh, it is limestone. Okay. Um, hopefully there is copper nearby. That's iron. Oops. Ooh, that's... Oh, okay. That's not far at all. It took a very long time to show up, but the nearest copper node is not far at all. Oh, it looks like this will be the place, ladies and gents. Uh, first off, oh, that's one of them rare resources, right? Hey, Mark, how's it going? It's like one of them, yeah, quartz. Uh, I still have yet to get in the, far into the game to where I know what the quartz do. Bop, bop. Come here. Bop, bop. Beep, bop. Come here. Oh, he's rolling. That's a new technique. Come here. Where you going? Alright, right off the bat, we start off with half health, as all things should be. Alright, so I think we're going to set up our hub on uh, over there on that side, because it has the most room, and the iron nodes are closest. That way our iron node can produce uh, much faster than everything else, which we do need copper and limestone, but iron, right off the bat at least, um, is the most important. All right, first thing we want to unlock is logistics, because logistics will allow us to speed up production. Hello, robot boy. How you doing? Uh, logistics will allow us to speed up production because when a pure node, if I'm not mistaken, miners uh, mine pure nodes at 120 materials a minute, and smelters and constructors, or at least smelters, only smelt the iron at, I think, 30 a minute. So... If you want the highest amount of production, then you want four smelters on one iron node. 
and we have four pure iron nodes, so that means there's going to be a lot of splitting needed. Uh, I am also curious on how far off I can build off the map, or if I can build off the map, uh, because if I can, this place is going to be pretty perfect. Anyway, enough talk, and let's get to the production, shall we? For right now, I think we're just going to have each iron node producing, like, uh, I'll have one node producing plates for now, and I'll have another producing uh, rods and then screws and stuff like that. That way we're at peak efficiency. I'm going to do what I like to call a little snake technique, where we just snake it in and out through the, uh, through the uh, machines that are side by side. That way it takes up the least amount of space. I don't know if that's true or not, but I think it's true. <laughs> so it must be right. Let's feed this into here. Let me pop a little Yui right here. Let me get through this mess. Do the same over here. And just like that, we can have iron plates producing. So, since we have so many iron nodes, um, I'm actually going to do three power poles. That way we can hold... I'm probably going to do uh, two biomass burners on each side. Basically, I just need to do that, and then these will connect to here, I'm guessing. No, that's not right. Alright, that looks about right. So that little technique, if I have a biomass burner on each side, I can actually hold two. But for now, we're just going to do only one, because two is a little overkill. And we lead all the power to here, and then we branch it off into things that we need it to. Uh, anyway, let's just get going. By the way, if you guys do like this series more than my other sporadic one, drop that like button. You can also drop the subscribe, man. I don't mean to be that guy, but you can just you can just hit it, bro. It's free. I mean, all you, you got an account. You might as well hit it. It's red. It's nice and pretty. Okay, so it looks like we have fuel for one, but one biomass burn is all we need for right now. Uh, I do want to go out and collect a bunch of leaves and sticks like that so we can get multiple going. But for right now, I think we should set up the other miners, although I don't know how I'm supposed to get up here. See, these are the big brain plays you guys have tuned in for, ladies and gents. Oh, there's another one of these flying fucker pods. Uh, this is also a pure node. Oh my god. We're just being spoiled around here. Alright, let's pop a miner down right on this motherfucker. Alright, we do kind of want to line it up to where it's uh, going off to the bridge like that. Perfect. Uh, we did spend a lot of resources on these storage containers, but for right now, it's our only way up, so we're just going to keep it. Luckily, all we need to do is run this into a constructor and then into a storage container, and we should be good. I'm not going to use the snake technique for this one, though, because uh, the closer the storage container is to the base, the better. Uh, turns out I'm missing rods already, so it looks like we're going to have to start producing rods instead of plates at the moment. Sorry about this, fellas. Change of plans. Thank you for the plates, though. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna go looking for, uh, I'm gonna go looking for bushes and, uh, wood. That way we can get a fuck ton of biomass going right off the bat. Hi, doggo. No, come back. I wanna pet you. Come here. Alright. He doesn't like, uh, weird, weirdly shaped people, I guess. You know, I'm trying to go to the gym, man. Relax. I'm just, I'm sensitive, okay? Alright, ladies and gents, I've returned with a couple leaves of my belt, maybe perhaps a couple wood. Uh, wood is what we really want because it produces a considerable more amount of biomass than leaves do. Alright, let's check our rods. Perfect. Now we can build the conveyor belt down here. And hopefully, yeah, we should have enough biomass to power more than one miner at the moment. Oh god, I, uh... <laughs> That little indent of the rock right there almost pushed me off the edge. I'm sure that won't be the only time. If I do get pushed off the edge, I don't exactly know how I'm gonna get my stuff. So let's just let's just hope that doesn't happen, okay? <laughs> so theoretically, we don't need these storage containers now because we can just climb the conveyor belt to the miner. Uh, I don't see a near situation that we're gonna need to go up to the miner, but. Just in case I do, I can just walk up here and go to the miner, so. And just like that, ladies and gents, we have concrete producing. It's gonna be enough rod production for now. Let's get the iron smelting here because iron plates are used a lot more in conveyor belt usage than the rods are. Before we start setting up the other iron nodes, we wanna get our copper going so we can get wire and cable. Uh, for now, we're just gonna do wire because we don't have a splitter to produce wire and cable at the moment. So, let's just pop this puppy right down. Let's see. Let's have a line up here. Looks good to me. 
So I'm gonna pop a smelter down in line with these smelters just to make it look nice and tidy. Uh, not a few, not a huge fan of this little bend here, but uh, what are you gonna do about it? And just like that, ladies and gents, it's all set up. Now we just need to power it. Uh, our wires are gonna just start getting very sporadic very soon because we don't have the poles that allow us to connect seven at a time. Um, I'm gonna use this little bend to our advantage in like uh, some little aesthetic purposes by sticking the conveyor pole here. See, now it looks like that bend should be there. Let's check to make sure the biomass burners aren't gonna decombust. Uh, they actually might um, once these start turning on. So let's just add another biomass burner just in case. All right, now we have three biomass producers. Uh, my, eh, meh, meh. Now we have three biomass burners uh, burning. Now our capacity is, is at 70 megawatts. All right, so let's get one more miner up producing rods, and then we're good to start going on the. Uh, then we're good to start going on the milestone for the splitters. Rhino boys, you're guarding a green slug, aren't you? Motherfucker. I don't like these motherfuckers hurt. I don't like that. We gonna need to uh, we gonna need to extinct y'all asses. We got a little parkour going up here. Just like that. Not gonna lie, I was a gymnast for about one month. I like the little aesthetic our base brings. What's this? Limestone. Anyway, as I was saying, I like the aesthetic the uh, the base is in because it's. I mean, it's really like three ways in and one of them is to that copper down there it's a nice little it's it reminds me of a like a town i've resorted to just sitting here and shift clicking this box until it gives me one wire per two seconds <laughs> all right ladies and gents we have enough for the uh the milestone i think so what i think i'm gonna do with these two pure nodes is i'm gonna come up with a little design off the top of my head that i just thought of and I'm going to make it to where the uh, the miners meet up in the middle here. And then they go down the assembly line. Like it's uh, split out into each individual smelter. You'll, you'll see how it works. Actually, before I'd like to start that uh, little smelter assembly line, I'd like to unlock foundations. Because I think we're going to run out of room over the edge. Because, uh, like I was saying earlier, these two are going to go into this. It's going to come out here. And all the smelters will be on either side of it. And I think we're going to run out of room here. So... Let's just unlock the foundations first. Hello, robot boy. I have another, uh, I have another package for you to send up already. Change Enjoy. Yeah, shut up, Ada. So another thing we probably actually want to do, rather than set up the other iron stuff right now, is set up uh, more ways of concrete because concrete is our most important resource at the moment. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't think I was that close to jumping off the edge, but I didn't realize the hole was that close. Hey Mark, you come to see what I've been doing? You like it? No? You, you don't like it? Okay. Mark, can you not trample on my work in progress, my art? Please. I know you and the wife broke up, Rebecca, but you need to let her go, bro. God, such a dick. Ooh, that's an issue. That's an issue. So, it's not a perfect angle, but it's the only way we're doing it, so. Tough shit. It's gonna have, it's, it's gonna, ah, it's gonna be how it's gonna be like that. I couldn't say the sentence, so I just let it roll. It didn't work. And so, we are gonna need, I think, eight smelters. So, four on each side, so... Let's just queue them up. Uh, we do have the materials to make them right now, so might as well let's just go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so our assembly line is gonna be in the way of the concrete. Uh, what I think I will do, to be honest, is make it go on a second level. So, ladies and gentlemen, the plan is simple, as usual. This is gonna run an assembly line all the way down here, with half of them going into these smelters. Then, it is going to ride a conveyor lift up here, and the other four smelters are going to be on top. Then, those smelters are going to go into it, their respective constructors, and uh, possibly assemblers, and going to make their respective materials. Hopefully, 
It's as easy as I said. <laughs> it's like that. We have the assembly line all nice and assembled. Uh, we do need the conveyor lift, which I'm not sure. Okay, we do have it unlocked. But um, I think for right now, we're just going to leave the episode there. Uh, I've, I've been playing a lot off cam today. Um, so bear with me. I just need, my, my brain needs a little bit of a break, so, uh, I'd like to thank y'all for tuning in to this little, uh, little new series we got going on, and I hope you guys like it, because I am sure looking forward to the future. Anyway, y'all have a good one. Peace.